Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. This is Mystical Machine Gun. Welcome back. We're back in Fancy Star Online Episode 3 Land. We're back on the hunter's side. And last time we had multiple choices, multiple quests we could do. So let's not hang about. Let's just get straight to it. Let's get straight into the maps, straight into the quests. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. So we've got call to get him who's Lura looking for break. I apologize for the rush, but could you come as quickly as possible? I'm in serious trouble. I'm the lab chief mission. This is tower check. I just had too much last night. And I forgot all about the tower security check. I'll gather a security team, but in the meantime, I need to go check out the tower right away. From government. Mission. Research has begun on the feasibility of developing Unguas Lapis into a habitable area. But the truth is, we're short on manpower and progress has been slow. We'd like you to simply go there to help investigate. Let's help out the drunk lab chief. Why not? Yep, those rules seem fine. Who have we got? We've got Kilria with us against Ogun and Rays. Gosh, we really don't have any other hero decks. Maybe we should. Maybe I should make another hero deck just to mix things up. I haven't really done much deck building on this side because there's so much deck building we've done on the Ark side trying to beat Castor or Castor, the uh, final boss. Gonna enunciate Castor. Castor. And as always, we're a silent protagonist. We found them. Two enemies. Are you ready? Oh, no, we've been found, Raze. That's okay. Still within realm of predictability. I did not bring my water bottle in here. I will go get it at some point. <laughs> what is this? It's a face off. Uh, have we got any weapons? We've got one dagger, we've got one claw, then we've got guarding cards. No, that's fine. We'll equip the equip the weapons. Looks like we're facing <laughs> Ogun. What a setup. Move. I'm on it. I'll be honest. I'm lucky. I'm still awake. We went to a hot pot place for lunch today. Oh, so good. I'm a rich, rich, I tell you. Oh, she's going straight for Kyria. Interesting. Considering Kyria could just, you know, hit her back. Whereas Ogun's gone for the pan arms. But yeah, I, it was my first time at this particular uh, hot pot place. Didn't realize that, uh, well, I'd, you kind of, you get a bowl and you just pile all the stuff in yourself. Then they weigh it and you pay for how much it weighs. And I'd got like 1.1 kilos of noodles and meat and mushrooms and bok choy and, oh, dumplings. Put dumplings in there. Oh, that's right. Pan arm. Takes the damage, yeah. Yes, Cereal Walrus, how are you going? It was so tasty and it was in a Malakatana sauce. And I just got the mild, which is good because that was spicy enough for me. Um, and I did not finish it. I brought it home. I'm having it for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> how are you going? I thought we'll, we'll, we'll get around the usual chat, just devolves into food chat. And we'll just start off with food chat straight away. It's 
So I've still got some prawn dumplings on my on the you know in there and so good. Uh let's go this one. Let's go musashi. I do love how the background changes in this tower as you go up. Oh, he's got dice plus one. Give me that card. I wish you could just take enemy cards. That would be so good. Yes, stay exactly there. Both of you. So I can attack you both in one turn. You fools! <laughs> there we go. Straight into it. I'm hoping this is a I only need to defeat one enemy mission. Oh, Kyria, you gotta steal my kill. Oh, she absolutely is too. Oh well, that was very fast. That was a very fast first mission. I just wish they gave you like a number of what mission it is. Like that was mission blur. Oh, we, we leveled up. There we go. Make peace and creature equals zero. Hmm. So maybe Ray's didn't have any creatures. So, all right, let's take it left or right. Start with the blue. Oh, Golgus. Earthquake. That looks cool. Same photon blast one. Land price. That's not new. Oh, good old Opa Opa. We haven't used Opa Opa yet. Piety is new though. Let's have a look. Slice looks cool. Good detail. Opa Opa. Very shiny. Way too much AP, but that's okay. Oh, Esla, everybody's favorite first photon blast. <laughs> oh my God, it's that thing. I forgot what it's called. Piety. Interesting name for a card. So what does that do? Attack action, S story character only. Quake inflicts three damage to all characters of both parties on the field, except aerial creatures. Only story characters can use this card. That would be interesting, but I think that would be interesting against Caster, actually. Uh, filial. During defense, if your own field character is destroyed while using this card, the story character who summoned it recovers one HP. The story character will lose one HP instead if HP is recovered when any equipped item is destroyed. That, that's a card for Caster. Get destroyed, get HP. Boom. We believe with, with this latest data you've retrieved, we can complete our analysis of Via Tubus. We could not have done it without you. Could have done it without me. <laughs> We're a hero. We're the investigation team. We're the hunters. Not have the game sound. You just had my silky tones. There you go. Everybody's standing in the same positions, which means there's more side quests to be done. You know when you can move on when they call you back to the chief. Who do an evil laugh and be obviously evil. <laughs> Okay. Let's do development one, just because it's a multi-part one. All right. Deck shuffle is unactivated. Okay, so we can't shuffle the deck. It's one-on-one -on -one with highs. How 
had the heater on behind me. Oh, it's actually not that cold in here. For the depths of winter. So I don't need a hot pot to keep me going tonight. I'm sure Hi is going to say something cool. So what you going to do now, huh? This is my song and wake up. Wake up, wake up, wow. <laughs> it's never a draw. Never a draw. Yeah. See, there's that card shuffle. Start dice. Set. Action. I won't be doing anything with these cards. Sorry, Dreamcast. When they turn off the shuffle, they just go, oh yeah, I'm going to make you discard half your deck. Which I get it. It's part of the challenge. Like, come on. Change. Nice. Set. I'm just going to burn this turn. Also, that's two turns in a row. With one defense. Oh my god. Change. And it's just like, why not make it. Just make it, I don't know. Discard defensive cards or something. Defense. It's boring to have to go through this. We gotta attack this turn. Look at that, that's another one. It's rigged. Oh, that's right, I can punch with my hands. Forgot about that. We need the pan arms to go, because the pan arms take damage. Guard cards are no good to me. Can't use them. Jeez. If they're gonna just give me one defense every single turn, that's what's gonna happen. Feeling a bit surrounded here. Defense. Like a Hilda Bear is what I would be using against Hunter. We're dead. <laughs> we are dead. <laughs> Let's do some, let's do some deck building. Real quick. Al Dole's Light. Right, whatever. Have any blue, have any red. Oroto Agito. No container, right? <laughs> and then a gun. And just a sword, just a katana. Focus exhaust. This card gains AP equal to the damage it receives. Ah, oh, this card loses one per hand. Okay, yeah. Good to know. You died, game over, back to the start screen. Oh my gosh. I haven't even played any tunes yet. You're here for the musical stylings of one note MMG, right? Can't believe I had the wrong thing on. The countdown may not have had any music playing either. I could have put bums on seats, I'll tell you what. It was funny after the hot pot being back in the office with people who go there with more regular and they're giving me advice. Said, oh, you should have done this. You should have used the instant noodles. They're not bad. And they also weigh heaps less. And <laughs> that's how you can save money. So what we'll do is we will make a really aggressive deck. 
So, you know, we don't have to be still for every single time. Uh, who do we want to be? Bit of bonus HP wouldn't hurt. Oof, so not him. Uh, move three, AP one. Okay, let's go with all of them. So let's go with swords. Sabres are just two, so it's fine. Walk's good. Last survivor. Looks cool. Ooh, it's a cool sword. Bring that in. Uh, Holy rack. God, that looks ridiculous. Uh, let's let's get some guns on him. Why not? So the goal here is. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, it looks cool. Damn it. <laughs> the goal here is to have. Lots of weapons and mags that helps with the movement. Um, oh, there's so many. Look at how many we've got after all this time. What do the magazines do for you? Oh, it's a time bomb. On the 10th turn after placing this card, it self destructs. And all opponent field characters on the field, three damage. No effect, this card is destroyed. Time to XP sacrifice. Okay. Anyway, so we can't. Just thinking. Now we'll get the mags on. Mags on is fine. Um, if this goes in the order I think it does, if we pack some attack cards. They'll be first. Let's try that. Let's give that a go. Let's just give that a go. Spirit boost. Why does it say split on the card? So, we have zero assist cards. Uh, let's call this. Uh, why does delete not work? <laughs> let's go all caps and we'll call it attack. see how that goes. So this will be a uh, deck shuffling disabled card. And if my guess is correct, we will be dealt spells first, then attack cards. Now, this is an all or nothing deck. This is a you need to kill them before they kill you deck. But, if it works, then we're playing the tune. <laughs> Skip this. God. So what do we got? Let's see. What? Okay. Fine. That's all good. Start nice. Oh my god. Set. So at least 
we now have stuff equipped. And so when we get hit, our equipment will get hit first rather than our character. So kind of paying off already, I think. I was wrong about the order, completely wrong. That's okay. Change base. Let's equip that ridiculous sword. Now, we're going to hit the pan arms no matter what. Might as well try and attack him. Let's see what happens. Missed. Ah, oh, that dodge card. So that last survivor knife. Because really, it's just a big knife. Is that dice plus one or dice fever? That's dice plus one. That should heal itself as long as it's got one HP left. So, we need to move. We're just going to act. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Two hits and the pan arms will be gone. Sword bonus. There you go. Oh, that's just from using the saber. He's got no defensive cards this turn. We've been very lucky. Don't think we'll need all these walks <laughs> and all those guns. Change. What are you gonna do? Uh oh, here's trouble. Oh no, he's running away. <laughs> right, well that last survivor might be gone already. Yep. <laughs> what a coward. Give me a six. Give me a six so I can punish this fool for running away. Damn it, I should just move two cards. Two steps. It just sucks how you can't take back your action either. That's right, we'll see how we go. I didn't realize I couldn't attack with any of those. But the Hildebear has good reach. Like he, he can hit three, three in front of him, so. Oh, my back gun. That's all right. I've got plenty of equipment. Change base. Got weapons for days. You won't defeat me. It's a lot of points. Okay, those. Just want to try them out. Let's go some guns. Why not? This robot, let's do it. Defense. Yes, use your defense card first. Thank you for that. Multi hit, multi hit, multi hit, multi hit. Oh, yes. Very interesting deck behavior. How with Silver, he has defensive cards. He just poured on the defensive cards. Jesus, that was a hit and a half. <laughs> okay, time to spend a turn. Just trying to get rid of the field bear if we can. Give me some big numbers. There we go. Why not? Put another saber. Why not? Don't move, just attack. Defense. Native shield. NA guard. That's a card we haven't seen yet. Not sure about the art. 
They can't all be winners. spot. I've got to play Arcanum one day. Because nothing tickles me more than fantasy setting and then someone just pulls out a gun. Change. This is taking longer than I'd hoped it would, but that's all right. Had to focus on getting rid of that Hilda Bear. Had to go. Change dice. Oh my gosh, he didn't even do anything. As he resigned himself Seven. to defeat. Hey, hi. Action. You're gonna die. I just need to get more before all these actions play out. Just in time for the kill. <laughs> D rank, what do you have to do in this game? You have to kill them in one turn, which is, you know, theoretically impossible. Do we can't level up again. Have to kill it. Seriously, how can you have our goals light as a deck? When do they even know about our goal? Is this meant to be a different part of the galaxy or something? I've forgotten my fantasy star online was. Ooh, look at those. Choo Choo Rocket! <laughs> Burning Visit. Like, oh, that looks like a suppository. Exist. Nug 2000, but the Nug. Give me the Nug, they'll say. That's it. <laughs> they look cool. I've seen the LK14 before. Any visit is a. Ah, oh, look at Choo Choo. Have to play Choo Choo Rocket one of these days. That just looks cool. Terminator or something. I've seen weakness before. What does exist? Defense action, story character cannot use. Survivor, recovery. The character with this card recovers to max HP if the character remains alive after battle. Ah, oh, so if they get hit and don't die? It's a time bomb mag for Choo Choo, that makes sense. And Lavis Blades. They got 16 HP. Oh, they're six. <laughs> they're six HP to deploy. That makes sense. Looks like you brought back some excellent data. Good work. Now we can go ahead and complete our investigation. We hope that development of the habitable areas in Ragol can proceed quickly. I think I've grown more accustomed to life on board this ship than I'd like. Winter development of Gunther. So I'm guessing there's a development two in our future. Oh, we're being summoned. Ah, welcome home, Tachytron. You must have fought a pretty intense battle. We're all glad to see you're still safe. The chief called for you, so please give him your full report. See, it's a guess about what will be the plot progressing mission. So apologies, I missed the other one. Nice work, Tachytron. We got another request from the development guys, okay? It's a cleaning job over in Mortis Fonds. Hey, Fonds. It may not be exciting, but it's all part of Ragol's development. It's important, okay? Important. Try to wrap it up as quickly as possible, so you can take on a, a, a lot more missions. Okay. 
okay? I'll be in trouble if you don't. And so are you. The reputation of the CARD Labs resting on your shoulders, okay? What a lovely guy. Clean up job. We're getting pretty busy around here, so I called in some more people. Hopefully there'll be enough for the work, okay? Who have we got? Stella Gun. Stella. Stella! And Glue Star. Who comes Salagun and Glue Star? Who comes up with these names? Starting with this mission, Salagun, Stella, and Glue Star will be deployable as team members. Your work is supposed to be related to CAR technology in some way, but lately we've been taking a lot of jobs from other fields. These new teammates will help you deal with the extra work. They're in the central control room, so feel free to talk to them. This job comes from the development division. It's not from Gunda, but from a different section of the office. I want you to help clean up Mortis Fonds. Yes, cleaning. What can I say? The chief accepted the request. I'm sorry. Please head to Mortis Fonds and take care of this. Apparently the Arcs have been appearing nearby lately. You may end up fighting with them, so be careful. Rumour has it that our performance is making us the target of jealousy. Someone may be trying to palm off this cleaning work on us. Okay. Who knew there'd be so much bureaucracy on this side of the of the deck? Hello, Takadrum. I'm one of your new team members, and huh? Here, show me that for a second. You're injured, aren't you? No, we haven't. We just sat in the morgue and told people what to do. Hold on, I can take care of this. Okay, there you go. Listen, you're the commander, right? The way you look and move can affect everyone that works around you. Try not to forget about that, okay? It'd be bad if you did. Got it? Gee, I'm looking forward to working with you. Well, anyway, let me introduce myself. My name is Saligan. Starting today, I'll be joining your team. Nice to meet you. Everyone here calls me Master. That's more or less the truth. <laughs> humble, humble person. I was an instructor at the Hunter Training Centre, or HTC. I did a little bit in CARD battle technology. So I guess I, should, I could teach you about it to some extent, as long as we stick to the basics. Everything has an acronym here. It's like working in IT. Originally, I was built as a nurse humanoid. But a turn of events led me, led me to teaching at the HTC. And that's what I did up to now. Oh, you don't have to worry about my fighting abilities. I had to teach students all day. I can hold my own in the battle. You fought your students? Okay, that's her dialogue. So, anyway, about Pops. Uh, who was that again? Kilria? By some amazing coincidence, Kilria actually knows Pops. She knows a lot. We end up trading a little information. But it looks like Pops rummaged around where he shouldn't have been rummaging. Sorry, if I had a, if I had a, if I had a dime for every time I was rummaging somewhere, I, I swear. By the way, how are Silver and Inelise doing? You know, the apostrophe twins. They aren't hindering your progress, are they? No, Silver is my main girl. Those girls can't do a thing unless I'm watching them. Is that where you're going with Prance, really? They brought up this really funny story from our childhood. I guess I told Inelis that I'd marry her a long time ago. We were kids, you know. I really don't remember it much at all. But both Inelis and Silpha claim I said it, so... Not that I'd have any problem with Inelis now, of course. She said no, but... Man, I was just joking too. I thought Silpha had lost her memory. Anyway, I mean, look it, but people say I've always had an eye for women. So anyway, I'm kind of worried. Like, what are those two saying about me? Did you ask them? I can't stop wondering. I mean, they just talk and talk and talk. You know, they might be talking about that. You know, that. I don't know. Right? So could you ask them about me next time? Thanks. I'm counting on you. Oh, crayons. So we've had Salagun say, I'm the master. And well, that's, that's what they should call me, really. And then we got Crans going, there's two girls talking. And 
obviously they're talking about me. Uh, Kranz, there's more to the universe than you, my friend. Tachytron. I lost consciousness in battle a while back. I asked a nurse what happened to me. And she said that I'd been unconscious for a long time. I'm sorry to trouble you like this. I don't think this has anything to do with my old illness. But something is definitely ca catching in my memory. Maybe I'll remember more when I go back into battle. I remembered a little bit already. There was this time when that guy, Break, stabbed me in the heart. I was almost killed. I think he was in the middle of taking my sister away, so I probably tried to stop him. He told me that we used to work together as a team. I find that very hard to believe. See, she's lost her memory, and he say, Kranz is saying he, she remembers him proposing to Inlis. Sure. But even if it's true, he betrayed me. I'll never forgive him. Never. I won't let him get away with this. Still, if what he told me is really true, then why did he have to betray me? And where did he take my sister? Betrayed. <laughs> yeah, who are you? Commander? What's that? I think I heard that somewhere before. But you did say hi to me, so I bet you're a great guy. Not a guy. Lady Robot. My name is Stella, and that's my name. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Not nice to meet you saying, yeah, randomly. Let's make those arcs go crying home to their mommies. <laughs> Ah, uh, their mummies. Yeah, never taking her out on a mission ever. Well, Commander, this isn't your first commanding job, is it? My speciality is analysis. Yeah. I'm good at locking on targets. Yeah. I hit my target a hundred times out of a hundred. Yeah. Oh, also I can run really, really fast. That doesn't deserve a yarn. <laughs> and what else? Um, <laughs> well, boss, this isn't your first grade job, is it? Oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> hey, Commander, I just bought this a little while back. What do you think? It's the latest thing from Coral. Huh? It's not good for battle. Why not? So what? I can't be fashionable at all. You know what? This is a violation of human rights. What you call it? This is terrible. I've already bought it and everything too. <laughs> well, I'll show it to Crayons before taking it off. There's a lot more people here now. It's much more lively these days. It was just me, Silver, and Crayons at the So I was feeling kind of worried with the work we have. But now there's a whole bunch of people, so I'm feeling a little bit better. It must be hard to decide who to deploy for each mission. And we've got this many team members to deal with. Everyone has different abilities, besides. Well, don't worry. I'll always be on your side, Commander. Probably. <laughs> huh? So you have a cleaning mission? Wow, you sure get a lot of different jobs. I'll take it, besides. I'm on your side, remember? Maybe we'll send in a list, why not? I don't really get the government, but do you know how they work? You do? Hmm? Yes, there's just lots of layers of bureaucracy stacked on top of each other. That's how governments work. You belong to them, Commander? I forgot. You do? Even though you have a section ID? Hmm. So how is the government organised? Hmm, so there's the central government. And then that's divided into the development division, the security division, the technology division, and the environment division. Are there any others? Oh, okay. So what division is the C-A-R-D lab part of? The technology division? Hmm, I see. <laughs> I think I have another plan coming together. What are you scheming? Okay. I have not been counting how many bits of dialogue they have. It's like you're getting caught out.
and Gloostar. Yo! See how command Attackitron, eh? Yowing like that made me burp. <laughs> I'm Blue Star. I'm part of your team starting today. You don't like betting, do you? Just out of curiosity. Hey, 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 you don't need to get all worked up by that. Life's just one big gamble after all. You have your good days and your bad days. Sometimes you get lucky and end up with a good commander. And sometimes you end up with a totally useless one. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, let me play a little dice game. You have to celebrate your new position, right? Come on, I'll keep the stakes low. So, how many Masetta do you want to start with, boss? You can go small if you want. You have zero Masetta. There is no money in this game. No, really, don't worry about it. I'm not about to rip off my own boss. Besides, today's your special day. So come on, let's get rolling. Okay, we've got gambling problem. We've got robot who thinks she's a cat. We've got, I'm the master. Look at me. Is Stella a robot? I'm not even sure. But we don't have a deck for Endless, so let's just have a look at the character art for our new punters. Oh, and our roster is full on the hunter side. I don't understand to this day why they made the Force users, the Force Newmans look like court jesters. One. But let's give her some spells to work with. Do -do 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 -do. There's so many cards in. Ass trash. So many cards now, I'm losing track of what does what. Resubbed six months. Oh my god, have I even been streaming that long? You may as well go for a hundred percent card collection at this rate. Well, it's much the six months is much appreciated, and absolutely not. <laughs> How are you going? Welcome in. I'm just quickly building a deck for Innerless because she said, Send me on this quest you've got. So let's do it. Let's have a Let's have a force user, why not? Let's pack weird things. We do not want the soul eaters. Morning glory. <laughs> uh, why can she use guns if she's a force user? I do not understand how these break down. Anyway, she can have this Samba de Amigo Miraculous. And she can have the Inferno Bazooka. Why not? She can use the Inferno Bazooka, not the Nug Bazooka. Make it make sense. Flower cane, sure. Rabbit wand, why not? Uh, Lee's, Fatsia, Alive Aku. Uh, we haven't. Ooh, that looks fancy. We haven't actually given her a mag yet. Let's do something about that. 
Ah, oh, red ring Rico, it's just too much. That's too much. Okay. Let's see how we go with slapping together this deck. I never actually considered different classes have card restrictions, but of course they would in this game. They do absolutely do. Since uh, Inalis is one of our apostrophe twins, she can have her deck can be called apostrophe. There you go. The card restrictions don't make sense, but hey. <laughs> the yeah, I had like. Oh no, it, uh, oh, it's not, don't make sense, it's just that everybody can use the basic mech guns and stuff, I think, so ra only rangers can use snipers and shotguns, but that doesn't explain why she can use one bazooka but not the other. Recently there's been a series of accidents at Mortis Fonds, famous for its active geyser. Have we been here before? I don't think we've been to this area before. Moss growth in the area has dramatically increased, causing many visitors to slip and hurt themselves. Okay, we'd like you to go and give the place a good cleaning. Yes, send your deadly hunters on this mission. The clean up mold. Oh, we got Guy Kill with deck. We got Pico and Crino. Oh, so we've got some force wings. Ah, time for a tune. became a music creation stream so gradually I didn't even notice. Oh, I think we had like one mission here on the arc side. We certainly haven't been here very often. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Battles suit me more than cleaning. Ooh, does moss taste good? Oh no, and I thought they were jewels. Moss. Oh, they're going first. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, no, I want to equip some maracas. Let's get right into it. Does that even give her any spell cards? I don't think I did. Oops. Oh, yeah, there we go. Shaka, shaka, shaka. I'm gonna kill you. Oh yes. <laughs> ah, I can't act yet. I don't see why magic users would need spell cards anyway. Exactly. Why? Guns all the way. <laughs> I'm just being in sync with my partner here, who is a robot. Can't use spells. I don't want to make him feel bad. Oh wow. <laughs> Defense. Being serious. Oh, exactly, exactly. If your teammate at work says to you one day, I'm broke. You don't go up to the next day and say, do you want to come out for lunch and pay money? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Change. Nice. Oof. Set. Yeah, start shooting, buzzy boy. <coughs> Breathing's important. <laughs> the maracas somehow hit multiple tiles as well. <laughs> Here we go. Hit it with maracas. What? Didn't make any noise. Where's the music? I wanted to go, Amigo! Oh, just some. Didn't get one kill. That's all good. Tell you what, I rolled. One defense half the night. 
feels like it's happening quite a bit. Defense. So we can only use dodge cards because we're only rolling ones for defense. <laughs> See? She doesn't need spells, just large cannons and musical instruments. Absolutely. That's all anybody needs, really. Somebody inform the witches out there. Change. Put the spell book down. Give the reagents a rest. Here's a rifle. There we go, six and five. Actually, head to the enemy so we can start whacking them with stuff. So we've got one guard card, and then we've got weapons, 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 weapons. Oh, she's got HP assist. That's interesting. See, normal RPG strategy for me is the healer. The healer has to go. So she might be our absolute. Top priority target. Oh, she's hiding. Boom. Let's hope for a big roll so we can move a little bit closer. We can whack her with our maracas. Whack her with a maraca. Don't you take my maracas away. No way. Never touch my stereo. Those are my maracas. No, the maracas. Yes. <laughs> oh no. God, they're gunning for her now. Ah, oh, the maracas. I think I, I think I, I think I had more than one on my deck. We will draw blood with maracas this day. Nice. And if you don't think maracas can be dangerous, you haven't seen small children running around the house with them. Yes, yeah, so why? No, yeah, okay. So I guess it can hit multiple tiles, but it doesn't hit through people. Is what I get for building a deck in a real hurry. Small children can make anything dangerous? Absolutely. For example, beds. <laughs> there is a standing rule in my house. If my eldest breaks her current bed from jumping on it too much and everything else, then it's like you'll sleep on the floor. Is she seven years old and she's on her second bed already? <laughs> when she was a baby, when she was not even... How old was she? She wasn't that old. Just under one or... Around the age, she we moved her out of a cot into the room because she could just climb out of her cot. She just climbed out of her cot. She'd been having a nap, toddled down the lounge room, and was like, "What the hell are you doing?" <laughs> it's like, well, that's it for the cot then. Change, nice. Set. Oh, I can't equip anything else. Interesting. Ah, they're all too expensive. Okay. Action. Right, let's start hitting these doors. Defense. Oh, he's, he can hit multiples. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Nice. Even though the shotguns look like crossbows, that is a shotgun. That's a rifle.
Build up those dice for me. Bzz, bzz. get rid of because we're not going to be able to use it. Okay, the pan arm blades are too expensive. Morning glory, but it looks cool. Uh -huh. The maracas are back. I'm going to stop trying. I can't help myself. I need a rhyme thing with maraca. Chewbacca. Tiki Taka. Chewing tobacco. Taking too much flacker. It's the dad jokes They're in the blood. Defense. Okay, let's try a dodge first. Nice. Because if I get attacked again, there we go, we can use the guard card. No one can, under can withstand the flacker of the maraca attacker. <laughs> See, Rosie, he's no slacker. <laughs> I'll stop now. Jeez. I will have to stop. Nice. <laughs> Set. We got the rabbit one. Let's get the markers. Let's do that. And then let's attack. Mm. <laughs> Let me check this crapper. Well, you've come to the right place. Both of them. Yes, the Maracas yes. paying off. This is the first art people we've been up against who actually use monsters a lot tonight. We had pies using one at a time. And now we've just got like monster spam. It's great. Look at that. The Maracas, they're so good. There's a helicopter flying somewhere overhead, so I was just looking at my, looking at my gauges, Jeez. making sure it's not filtering through. There's a lot of slimes. And the rack is going to be part of the football strategy. On the hunter side, absolutely. That deck will just be called Defense. Samba Di Bosso. Bosso Nova. And we'll go from there. Oh no, they, they attack the Maracas first. They know the power. But no defense this turn, so. Don't know why that has damage zero sometimes. It just says it does. And she's not using any spells against us, which is good. Because as a force user, she's also, you know, not a strong attacker. But we're also struggling to cut through HP nice. at the moment. And a good Zond spell would go, go a long way right now. TP plus two, TP plus one. Only had a quick spell. Move. Action. Just attack. Those are both going to do just one damage. Okay. Defense. You keep trying to kill those guys. <laughs> there we go. He's just pouring all his attack. He's just pouring all his HP. HP. AP. Good lord. Me acronyms. AT swap perm. Okay. Getting there. This is where. See, that time, this time this is zero. So. Oh, you can't drop weapons. I need them to knock the weapon out of my hand. Just 
training? Is that a card, you reckon? No. Is that just an ability she has? Too many slimes. It's out of control. And they still can't hit us. Not sure why. Not the rabbit one. Oh, he's just a little bunny. Change base. Come on, there we go. Set. Can't use anything, can't move. Let's try that and use the other two against Cranu. Defense. See if we can actually do some damage with it. Because we're using the AP. Oh, he's going to hit him with that too. Nice. He's down to five. Sniper rifle at point blank. That's the way. That's the kind of accuracy I would need with a real gun. Yeah, that worked. We are not getting a good ranking on this, by the way. Ah, oh, the rabbit one for the win. Yes. I think that's the first time I've ever said for the win in my life. I'm too old for that shit. <laughs> Can somebody tell me what no cap means? No, I honestly, like, the first time I encountered FTW, in online posts and chat rooms and forums. I honestly thought it meant fuck the world. Like, as if you were saying, this, you know, when I first saw it, we were the only head of Rangers, there you go. That's, that's how bad I am. With the, like, the first few times I saw it, it was kind of like in a, you know, I like blah, 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 FTW. And it's like, so it sounded like they're saying, I like this thing. Fuck the world if they don't agree with me. <laughs> Thank you. Vijayja. Uh, Vijaya, sorry. And so, yeah, I, I thought FTW was like, that is from ECW and the FT world. I think cap means lying, so no cap means not lying. How does cap mean lying? What? Oh, that looks cool. I'll have to talk to my teenage nephews about how cat means lying. I'm sure they didn't tell me. Look at that. That is cool. I have no, I have no idea, but I kind of like it. No cat, for real, for real. Oh, what does Mega do? Okay. Multi-attack tech. Ah, oh, only two blocks. Instant death, heavy rampage. Roll three or higher after a successful physical attack to instantly destroy the opponent. No effect against story characters. An attack against a hunter's side story character will also inflict an equal amount of damage to equip items with three Arthurs. So that's, that's heavy rampage, there you go. So make it. Just like everything else, not as good in this game as it is in the other games. It is once again safe to travel through the area. Thank you very much for your help. Be sure to call on you again if anything else comes up. Unnamed person from the development division. What about Gunther? What happened to Gunther? Don't you think it's about time you gave up? Come on, you're pretty good. Stronger than I thought, and beautiful. How about it? You ready to join us yet? Uh, join us in the arcs, or join us in another way? No way! Who do you think I am? I don't just go switching sides that easily. Right, guy killed? Tell them. <laughs> what? Eh? 
Pico. I'm on it. Yeah! Struggle, struggle. All right, so we won. And they're kidnapping us? What do you think you're doing? Untie me. We weren't expecting you to join us right away, you know. So we've made some preparations for you. What do you mean, preparations? Well, are you really happy as a hunter? Lots of restrictions, right? Your clothes have to be this way, your hair has to be that way. Well, yeah, but that doesn't suit you at all. You deserve freedom. I do get to do what I like. Ah, don't be so stubborn. We've all got we've got all sorts of food to eat. Of course we do. We will prepare, especially for you, your personal quarters, personal training, your personal items, personal meals. And best of all, you have your very own personal quarter to fully bring forth your natural beauty. I don't quite understand, but uh, it sounds really personal. Yes, exactly. So what do you think? We aren't asking you to decide immediately. We just want you to consider it carefully. Do you truly despise the Arcs? Surely not. The Arcs are only fighting to correct the despotic government. Take a moment to think about which side really stands for justice. And take a moment to think about what's really best for you. But, but I can't betray my friends. I thought you'd say that. But you don't have to worry. We've already talked to Kranz and Silver about joining the Arcs as well. No way. They haven't said anything about that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> My, of course they wouldn't talk about leaving their friends behind. This feels like a Team Rocket sketch. I can't believe it. Now, there's no hurry. Take some time to think it over. And try asking your friends as well. Though I imagine they'll probably just refuse it. Reach us by using the address in our last letter. We'll send another. Farewell for now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hey, wait! Wait a minute, are you just leaving us like this? Hey! <laughs> I think that's a tied up. Well, I'm glad we got to see that. Is that guy eating cake and not sharing it? What a villain. Pico had a whole arc. He had side quests. He had side quests about that cake. He got captured on the arc side trying to get that cat. So he's earned it, if you ask me. Speaking of villains, thanks for taking care of that, Tachytron. I got another job from my friend in the development division. What is this? Is this going through proper channels? Has he filled in the requisite forms to get the hunters to do stuff? Or is this just jobs for mates? Come on. He's raving on about some landing site in view of the Tower of Kalem. I swear, just because the principal runs them, they think they're kings. Ah, well, take care of this one for me, okay? You can get the details from Karen, okay? Pioneer 2 would just go to pieces if I wasn't around. What you think? All right, development 2 has been added. Don't about it, Karen. Good afternoon, Tachytron. I'll brief you on your mission. Punta, or the development wants to help them out with their investigation of the area around the Tower of Kalem. They must have been very happy with the results of our last mission. There are lots of other hunters' guilds out there, but they insisted on hiring the CARD lab for this mission. Do your best, okay? By the way, how are your cards working out for you? We can't make cards without using something called the germ. Hang on, sorry. Without using something called the germ. This is the thing we're looking for that I discussed earlier. As we carry out missions to test the effectiveness of our technology, we're also looking for the on the surface of Bragon. If we can get this we can greatly enhance our CARD technology and make it easier for everybody to use. We have no idea where it is yet. We're trying hard to find it. I wish I had a voice changer just for that so I could go real deep on the germ. Hey, Saligan. Oh, hey, Takatron. You look like you got some free time. How about I give you a small lecture today? How about no? No, thanks. <laughs> On a small lecture front. Let me tell you about card basics and attacking. Unlike the Arcs, we hunters can equip items. 
weapons and armor, for example. However, even if you have the strongest items in the world, you can't just flail away blindly and expect to beat your opponent. Work so far. You'll often find your opponent using creatures to surround you. So if you let your guard down, you can wind up taking heavy damage. The most important thing you can do to prevent that and still attack is to move. Being in the exact right spot can prevent damage and lead you to victory. Your equipment and attacks don't matter until you get that right. Thanks, Alagon. The contents of your deck are also important. Each weapon has a fixed cost applied to it. Your strategy will likely change based on that cost. It's a choice between quality and quantity, essentially. If you want to concentrate on high cost weapons, use a main card and surround it with support items. If you opt for a low cost weapon strategy, you want to combine them to unleash massive combo attacks. I guess that's about it. You follow me? Defaults to no. Zelda star. Ah, now that I think about it, do you know someone named Viviana Takitron? Yes, we do. She was a student of mine at the HTC. She's kind of stubborn. She's a nice girl at heart. There's another girl too, Mamoru of the Arcs. She was also one of my students. Together with Viviana. Yes, yes, we know. Surprised? I imagine so. Not surprised. We played that side already, Salagun. <laughs> it sure was when I heard about it. They both went to the same training school. But somehow they wound up in different organisations. Okay, that was number three. We got to say, trans, got girls talking about you again? Yo, how was it? How was the previous battle? I'm pretty hot stuff out there, aren't I? You weren't there. You weren't ever there. I made a look at people tell me that I'm pretty hot stuff. Oh, yeah? Your reflection tells you that, I'm guessing? Haha, <laughs> leave the fire in the me next time. Silver, she feeling better yet? Oh, I guess I could just ask her. Yeah, that's an idea. But, I mean, we're both looking for family. It's kind of a hard thing to talk about anything else. Anyway, Silver really learned a lot from her sister. It was like a mum to her. I say mum. I say mum. I feel kind of sorry for her, to be honest. It'd be nice if she found her sister soon. When we finish a mission, who receives the Masetta Award? Does that go to the CIRD lab or what? Oh, really? I was just discussing that with some of our researchers. They were under the impression that you were getting more Masetta than any of us. Hmm. So you're working for the Hunters Guild, more or less. You're officially assigned to the government, yeah? It must be nice not having to work on a commission. <laughs> there is no Masetta here. There's no money. Why are the ARCs trying to block our land development research? I mean, I think even a child would understand that our research is necessary to make sure Rhaegol is safe for everybody to live on. I heard we have another investigation job coming down the pipeline. You think the ARCs will try interfering with us again? As a hint to send Silver. The team's expanded a lot, but we're all friendly with each other. Have you talked with everybody, Takatron? Yes, every time. Hee hee hee. We've got a lot of characters here. We all move together as one unit in battle, though, despite the fact that you can only send one of us at a time. I think that's really incredible. I guess we, be, I guess we should be thanking you for that, huh, Takatron? <laughs> Weird spelling. Keep it up. Yuria feels a lot like a big sister. She's got herself so together. Whenever I talk with Crayons these days, He's always going on and on about how incredible Kyria is. Yeah, is he now? Oh, see, tee hee hee this time. Have you talked to everyone? Yes, exhaustive number of times. I have exhausted all dialogue. My sister was a little more easygoing, I think. But seeing her fight was truly fascinating. It was really wonderful. I still remember how she looked in battle. I wonder where she is now. Are we dead? I've been extremely tired lately. Romatos, I feel you. I'm there. I'm with you. It seems a simple mission would be a good way to recuperate. So I asked Karen if there was anything. And she told me about an air purification research mission. Could you deploy me on that one? Thanks. Ah, okay. You've got a side quest for me, Romatos. So I need to make you a deck. 
Why am I so worn out? Well, I've been fighting a lot. I've been doing that outside of your command. Oh, have you? By the way, how do you like my fighting? I should be a fairly good fighter. I've been practicing the Miyama style all my life. Watch out, you familiar with that? The Miyama style? It's a fighting style. You don't have to know about it. Anyway, I learned a thing or two about it. So when it comes to sword fighting, I know my way around. Silfra asked me why should a kid like me be fighting? So I told her that everyone has their own issues and reasons. That seemed to answer her question. All of this is much harder on her than it is on me anyway. I hope she finds her sister soon. I don't think she's going to. Just based on what we saw on the arc side. Hey, guy chick. Oh, guy killed. How can we get the bracket translation in battle but not here? We're doing this, we're going all three. <laughs> I took some effort. <laughs> you got a moment? I was fighting some arcs guys earlier. Are you know what? They tied me up. I had this feeling. No. Sorry. They tried to recruit me to their side. It was just like, would you like to join the arcs? I tried to act all interested and said, I'll think about it. But I'm not going to go anywhere. But if I go, they said they'll give me all the hottest coral fashions. And I'll have a lot of personal stuff or something. Personal, huh? That sounds kind of neat. Ooh. Hands are so... Oh, that's an angry ooh. Ooh. Hands are so stupid, stupid, stupid. I changed my hairstyle and he didn't even notice you're wearing a hat, girl. There is a big hat covering your hair. Yeah. Isn't it terrible? It's terrible, right? It's like he stepped all over my heart. My hat. Ooh, I'm so mad. I've got a special ability, you know. Hee hee hee. It's being completely oblivious. You want to know what it is? What? You want to know what is it? Hee hee hee. It's putting words in the right order. It's chatting. I love to chat. We ended up talking with Silfra all night a little while ago. That hurt my throat a bit, but it was fun. Sounds like streaming. If you have anything you want to discuss, just let me know. That's what I'm good at after all. That sounds like how my throat feels after doing all of your dialogue in lists. You're wearing a hat. Maybe she changed her bangs, I don't know. Look. Big hat covering all her hair. How would he know if she changed her hairstyle? Anyway, Romatos is a force user. This character swaps its own AP and TP every time it attacks. The new status remains even after the attack, effective even with the quick fires. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. AP and TP are going to be swapping. What is this? Suicide. This card self destructs. Okay, mm, that's fine. Uh, let's give Romatos some swords. Ooh. Okay, let's give the Force user some spells. Let's actually remember to do that. Half guard. Oh, okay, so all of these have kind of in that area have special endorphins versus certain enemy types. Okay. Okay. That's antidote, right? Feels of normal conditions, yeah. Do G Zons, Zon. We're still really down on spells. Quaker guy, why not? 
Uh, then we need some cards. A pack of the dodges? They dodge, okay. Now, piety. This is one. Yeah, that's one we're going to use against casters. So don't let me forget about piety. Uh, what's defensive? Fine. Okay, back to the weapons now. Okay. Oh, we've got so many cards. How many cards have we got? Don't know. Okay. Looks like everybody can use the Sonic Knuckles at least. Get our maracas on. Now, here we go. Here's our wands and canes. So, okay. Take a couple of barriers. Now, I'm guessing these. Or well, five or higher after six to freeze your opponent for three turns. Oh. Those well, fire step to Agni do. Uh, receive half damage from taking attacks. Psycho wand. Oh my god. Is that seven? That is seven AP. Striker of Chow, which I have in Fantasy Star Online Episode 2. Thank you to VR. Uh, Caduceus. What does Alive Aku do? Also, I need to battle recovery TP power. This card recovers one HP if the battle ends after your attack. That must mean. Increases physical attack damage that you inflict by one third of the sum of the TP of this card and TP the story character. What does Fatsy do? Increases physical attack, so we've read that. Roll six or higher after a successful physical attack to immobilize the opponent for three turns. Hmm. That's HP four. What does Plantain move to? AP hearts. AP the opponent is three for two turns. Okay. Branch of Puckle Puckle. Equip that just for the just for the bonus attack. Oh, what are we doing this time? This is for Realm Atos. Let's call it. Uh, no. Okay. Let's do side questing. Tell you what. Get through it. Have you got any side quests for me, dude? I don't understand why I have a dedicated go to this guy for a side quest character. And then have him not have side quests for half the game. Okay, so development two is plot. We gotta go do brief rest. We'd like you to conduct some basics research at Lupa Silver. We are in need of air samples from the area in order to get a better idea of the role Ragol's forest play in atmospheric purification. Okay, everything's fine. Default rules. You can only send Romatos this map. No, what? Tifu, why is your deck called useless? I mean, I know part, I, I know, <laughs> I know that's what AI partners are, but anyway, and Mamori's got my servant and Hiko's got snacks. Oh, good girl snack. I've been feeling rather worn out as of late, so a trip to Lupus Silver would be a good change of environment for me. Yeah, there always sets me in a nostalgic mood. I see this mission is available. Would you be willing to send me? Oh. Tifu wants to learn about spirit, so maybe I'll teach him a bit. Doesn't want to give you any false expectations. Well, I've had like three good 
options for the VOD thumbnail already. So we've got Nya, we've got change my hairstyle and wearing a hat. And now just zooming in on the word useless. <laughs> we can go from there. Oh, we've got some teleporters. No arcs here. It's free so far. Oh, what? Pico! I found a lost little kid in this weird guy. You're a little kid yourself. <laughs> teleporters are always tricky. Oh, they're going first. Yeah, they're absolutely good. Well, we had to eventually go second. Uh, let's change our hands. Yep. Interesting setup. These teleporters aren't going to do much for us. Ransom? What does that do? Yuchik. Okay, they're going to try and. They will probably try and block the teleporter. Which is good for you. that one because it does an extra damage. Oh, Tifu, get out of the way. Are you serious? Bloody hell. The AI wouldn't be as annoying if they didn't get to go for this. They just kind of, they move while you're doing your thing. So you can't... If it just clearly they went first and then you could decide what to do, or you go first and they do what they do. But instead it's like, oh, you were going to move there? Tough luck, buddy. Oh, I can't attack. Okay. Come on, Tifu, what you got? With your useless deck. Nice. We've got some guard cards, we've got some spells. Alright. Well, now that we're standing where we are, we don't really need to use the teleport. What? How did you spawn there? Oh, come on. This would not be a problem. He didn't stop me from getting to the teleporter on the first turn. Hey, so far his deck, not useless. His conduct, completely useless. Can't move. Oh, he can. Keep moving, Tifu. Oh my god. Let's try him. Canadines only have like one HP, don't they? I don't care about immobilize on the robot. There we go. Tifu, you, bet you need to carry the team. It's all you, dude. It's all you. Because the way they are spawning in there, dudes, we, I'm going to be stuck at the half of the bat the entire time. Tifu, you've got to move. Oh, it's not our turn. You've got to move. You've got to move. Oh, his axe is going to go. That was a good axe. Oh no, the axe is still going. He's got multiple axes. It's like a graph. I must be lightheaded on one. The jokes are bad. <laughs> the jokes are poor quality. Ah, there we go. 
Oh, we can't do anything. But at least we've moved. Steven, get off of that teleporter, dude. I'm risking getting telefragged. Ooh, where's that earthquake card? Maybe we can use it. Will it hurt ourselves? I don't know. The card, I feel, didn't make that clear. So if it hurts ourselves, blow the card. Checking. Attack action, story character only. This looks three damage to all characters of both parties on the field, except aerial creatures. So, for that canadian one, do it. Let's do it. Oh, look at that. Possibly we are going to hurt ourselves. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Didn't kill anything, but hey, that's a good thing. I want to see what this kill ch chitch, kill chitch, kill Christ does, because I've never used it on, on the arc side. New things. It's good, it's good that we're over here on the hunter's side seeing these animals. Beasts, monsters, cars, whatever you want to call them, get used. Why are monsters? I'm gonna go old school. I'm gonna go Mega Drive. Okay, that Quake card. Probably way better when they're using lots of lower level monsters and flooding, flooding the field. <laughs> Since I managed to hit myself. Oh, okay, sure. It's like it had a wheel, but it's just kind of floating there. Oh yes, pan arms down. And that bonus dies. I love how Romatos is just a little dude holding a big lightsaber. Now I'm expecting on this turn that Tifu will just go straight up the guts and block me. Oh, mind brightness. I was going to say, that's a... Uh, you need... Ah, oh, okay, so, there's, so mind brightness is the only card we've got. And that boosts mechanical events. Uh, mechanical monsters, but uh, I'm guessing Cave Wind does the same for Altered Beasts. We need him out of the way before we can do anything. Oh no, my plantain! Now I'm betting at the very least that TV is going to try and hit the Volmer. Ooh. Oh, she is too. That's a good weapon. Uh, don't move. I need more weapons. That's right. Let him take care of the bomb. Okay, I was saving that. I want to save that barter to try and hit or the foy as well to hit the, the enemies. Ah, oh, but I only had one one weapon. We're not using any of these cards this turn because we've got one defense. Give me more stuff to equip. Tifu, are you gonna did you just use your turn to equip that lightning partisan and that was it? Useless. <laughs> Utterly useless.
Ah, oh, man, I was saving that, that sword. It's extra damage to story characters. Blown it. Blown for it. Are you going to do something this turn, Tifu, or what? Oh, at least attacked. Oh, there you go. Let's just do that. Uh -huh. Stuck. We're stuck here in the middle of the map. I didn't realize I could hit him from here, otherwise I would have been doing this sooner. Hey, there you go. Eat it, Pico. do is put someone in front of the stupid AI partner and you are locked. You are locked into position. Defense. Yes. Barriers up at least. Oh, I can't equip anything else. <laughs> oh, what was I doing? I should have. Should save my AP. My bad. Oh, this is drag. This one's dragging on a bit, and I apologize. But... There we go. Things happen. I've got weapons coming out my ears now. No defensive cards, but you know, I've got two mags and a barrier, so they can have to, they have to churn, churn through that first. Oh, got to get over there. Oh, my God. Yep, can't do much about this. Oh, thanks, Tifu. Get out of your gender stereotypes, Grands. I'm sure you can have it. Take care of yourself. Alright, let's spend a turn killing monsters. Killing summon beasts. Uh, okay, can I do Barter? Why can't I do that? Ah, oh, too much AP. Okay. That's fine. Save it for next turn. Oh, why are you attacking that one? Tifu, you moron! Attack the one that is blocking the field. Fuck. There is one. There is one that is in the way. And it is that fucker right there. <laughs> yes, see if we get it together. Oh. God damn. I'm relying on... Oh, he's trying to get behind Tifa, I think. I'm relying on the AI. Cannot be relied upon. was using his seven damage sword against this one HP robot. Whatever, your choice. Oh my God. Oh, 
now we've got some rackers. Now it's gonna get cracker lacker. -ing. These guys could be put through some hard yakka on the maraca. This cracker, wielding maracas. Rhymes are never lacking. Just step back in. This is the return of the Macca. Uh, New face. You gotta end up covered in gacka. I was at a 40th birthday party on Sunday, made of mine's 40th, and some, another person who went along hired a whole DJ thing, like an electronic pioneer DJ booth thing. Awesome. I wish I'd, I wish I'd found out how to do it because I would just hire that thing and like sit in my bedroom for a day and just play with it. But my eldest daughter was, once she saw it, once she was allowed to start being like, so she, she, she was there and yet the guy who had moved it was so nice. He was like, yeah, you can have a go and he was sh showing her how to use it. So yes, we had it with, with a DJ in the family, maybe. <laughs> Got some photos and videos of her just playing with it. Oh, it's hilarious. But very cute. There we go. Dice plus one. Now we can start moving. Maracas of death are here. Alright, Tifu, don't stuff this up. We've got to move. We've got to move towards the story characters. That actually reminds me, I think there's a PlayStation 1 or 2 game. It's DJ Mix Riffle. There was DJ Hero. My wife and I were talking about that after we got back from the party. We're like, oh, we should get that DJ game. I'm like, because there was, yeah, after Guitar Hero, there was DJ Hero. I can't remember if it was on PS2 or PS3. But yeah, why not? Why not? May have been PS3. I've got a PS3, so that's fine. Yeah, we, we definitely might do that. She probably won't like the songs. It'll be like, what? Where's where's Gummy Bear and the Wiggles? And you'll be like, well, all these DJ songs were released before you were born. Whoops. <laughs> oh, how did we miss twice? Actually, I think this may have been a separate thing, as I feel like it's older than the heroes. Basically, the same line. I'm sure Konami had a turntable game because they had what's it called what's the drum game called? The drum game's so much fun. At the arcade, not far from here, they've got the drum game. What's it called? But teaching my daughter how to do the, the difference between the in the middle and the side of the drum ones. She just wanted to go. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, so Konami have those drum, they had a drum game and a guitar game before Guitar Hero. So yeah, there's, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a man table one of those as well. Is it Mania? Drum Mania is the English name? The drum game. It could be like DJ Mania or something. Okay, let's equip something that can hit people. Beat Mania, there you go. There you go. We got there in the end. <laughs> well remembered, oh thank you. I don't remember much. <laughs> Okay, what's he doing? He's got a defense card, he's not using it. Oh, so we're gonna miss. 
I didn't have that many spell cards. I'm struggling to get past the moment, and I'm not sure why. I can't hit him. I don't know why I can't hit him. God, this whole thing, this whole thing was just a waste of time. Ugh. I don't know why I can't hit Volma. I don't know why there's multiple of the bloody thing. Yes. AP4 moves to guards demolish. Oh, well, this is his attack. What is it? SC Slayer? That's the issue. Oh, no, that's Story Character Slayer. So that's not it either. Well, let's just hope we get enough to just on it, because then we get both of them. Spells. Oh, jeez. Very nearly bad. Got five HP left, that's bad. What? Oh, okay, sure. There we go. Is that it? God. This may be a bad deck for Romatos. Play myself. Because I've just been out of bulldoze, everything was still fine, so. I can't even move out of this tile. I can't move off the square. I'm blocked in all the areas. Defense. Unless Tifu decides to move. How come you can attack from two squares away? What is the deal? How's my HP looking? Three. HP's not looking good. I can't fall back on my TV because yeah. Tifu, are you moving? Are you good to move? Oh, attack dice boots, let's do that. If you can move. Tifu, you moving? Good boy. I am retreating. Tifu, it's all you, buddy. All you, my friend. All you. What that ransom card does. Sounds good. Alright, Tifu, let's see how you do. One on one battle. Oh no! Why have this has got steady damage? Oh no! I'm gonna nice. kill myself. Oh Jesus. This has been a disaster all around. Oh my god, please hit me. <laughs> please hit me. I'm gonna kill myself. Like, not literally. Like, that sort that flower cane is going to kill me. I equipped it. I'm fine. Alright, Tifu, get in there. Just 
spawn people all day. If we fail this mission, switch it over. Switch it over. You need to go give Caster a go. Yep, we're gonna die. That's my own fault. Oh, I can't act, I can't do anything. Just going to die next time. Oh, look at that dice bonus. I'm not going to get to use. Oh, there's so many things I did wrong there. More spells is what I needed. More techniques, more than you. These techniques will give me some range. This time that was, it was pretty self-inflicted. Not blaming the game too much for that one. TP being dumb, sure. But yes, I could, I could have had a better deck for what Realm of Us can do. And I think the AT, the AP TP swap that she, he does, God. Is um yeah. Now nah, be salty playing the game. Tifu. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, about two hours in. Let's let's do let's do a couple of casters. That piety card sounds awesome. Now, I'm a bit wrecked. So it's just a bit of a shorter stream tonight anyway. I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow night. Gonna to be doing Peace Walker tomorrow night since I do do it on the weekend. A bit of a makeup stream. And then more Peace Walker on the weekend. Peace Walker, nowhere near as brutal as this game. So if, pro if progression is your thing, stick around for that. Can't play music on this one. I did, full disclosure, look up just to see if there's any sort of guides on how to be caster. And I found one. I haven't implemented that deck yet, but it actually is quite different from the strategy we're applying at the moment. One thing I want to do, I want to go new deck. Ooh, you're intrigued? There you go. Um, it says to use pan arms. I'm not sure why. Before each turn, all your own creatures recover one HP. 
including this card itself and ally field characters. I'm wondering if we can use Cranium. And that might help us a little bit longer. Now, let's have a look. Let's uh, see over here. Uh, things from other tabs. Here it is. Here, I'll show you. Okay. With the cards in this deck, you should be able to win the final battle of the Ark story missions without too much trouble. Tweak here or there, depending on the cards you have at your disposal, is no problem. I call this my boss power deck. The main objective is to keep reducing the AP of caster and <coughs> censored spoiler while surviving their attacks. The best way to beat caster is with one Go Vulma and one Sino Spiegel. Spiegel? Both of which have the AP silence ability. Just surround her and attack to suppress her AP growth ability. Uh, yeah, so that's what it says about caster and boss we might mention. So they're saying three Go Vulma. We've only got two. That's all right. One Sino Red. We have a Sino Red. Oh, just, put the, just put the game back on, Shane. <laughs> One Sino Red. Where is he? I think I, I thought I had him. Guess not. Guess I don't. We've got Sino Spiegel. Spiegel. So he's saying one, but because it's they are saying one. I thought I had. You know, they've done a really nice job. I used to text files exactly, but I'll uh, I'll go to game FAQs anytime. Where is I don't have Sino Red. All right, we'll put in H H Rappy Plus. Uh, Santa Claus Rappy, we haven't seen yet. Inherit Death Companion. There's Power Rappy, where's Del Rappy? Must be further down. Because we, I remember getting Del Rappy last week. Lily, gosh, that's terrifying. Del Rappi, look at it. Look at that boy. Does it ally bonus and rampage? <laughs> uh, can't use it. Okay, so we don't have a Sino Red. We don't have three Go Formers, so this isn't working already. Let's go with a slime or two. Or a horrifying penguin, absolutely. I'm sorry, just texting the wife. What else do they say? Let's have a look. To Merlan. High cost and story character slayer hand disruptor. Do I have Merlan? Let's see. Don't think I do. Look at this, look at this mecha. Wish I could zoom in on him. God. I do not have Merlan. Okay, this is not working so far. Who Dark Belras? Have Indie Belra, one Dark Belra, one Heavy Slash, four AP and hits a row of three ahead. I don't have Heavy Slash. Two stabs. Okay, I've got two stabs. I do have two stabs. I'm sure I do. Steps. Three unit blows. Do I have 
I do. Oh my gosh. There we go. Two HP attack. Temporary swap HP AP to attack. Just enough. Two dodges. I've definitely got dodge. Where's dodge? Three guards. One, two, three. Might do a three guard three dodges because I've got space. Two Aegis Guard. Complete the third HP2 and instant death attacks. Don't think I've got that card either. <laughs> Piety, that's what I want to use. I don't have Aegis Guard, I don't think. TP events exist. Okay. Three weakness. Ah. Never use that card. Where's weakness? There it is. One, two, three. One beat plus five AP in exchange for XP. No, beat, 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 beat. Where's beat? I've got beat plus as well, I think. And they've got two dice plus one, which we do not have. Ugh. Where's beat? What does support do? All ally story characters in one block from this card gain three AP while this card is in the field. Yeah. The team becomes immune to all effects from this card on the field while this card is in the field. Nah, that's not too much. Random assist. Muscular. Everyone wants. All field characters on the field gain one AP when this card is in the field. You may summon creatures in any free space in the field, regardless of their cost. There we go. Now, what was the other one? Beat. There's Beat. Beat is in the attacks, isn't it? Got Beat. I do have Beat. Ah, oh, here we go. So he's sort of about Beat. Which is AP plus four. Damage from your physical attacks increase by two times the value of your own team's dice bonus. Oh, so that's going to be no good. Yeah, just beat is fine. Okay. Oh, he said one times beat, but that's, we don't have that many. So. Interesting. There we go. Give this a go. It is not quite following the guide. <laughs> I'll be honest. Not quite following the guide, but let's give it a go anyway. Uh, let's call it guide. Good old Alan Rappy. He's the best. All right. I did not realize that Craney gives HP. That could be a real difference maker. So yeah, we'll have a couple of guys at Caster and they'll have to call it. Speaking of the germ, we're back with the germ. Just glad. Is she holding that gun or is that gun her arm? Not sure. Either's possible. Oh, there you go. Starting with a one. Good sign. Uh, no, I would not like to change my hand. Oh, 
nice fever straight away. So hang on, this lets everybody move. Oh, so after you do that first. And then I can't do it. Stab, beat. No, that's all good. Just have to try and get this go for with a hitter. So, what I found out while reading is that Dice Fever, you can't really see it, it goes by so fast. Um, always rolls fives. So one of her dice things uh, hits everybody on a five. So that's why she uses dice fever. So then she just gets a five every time. I didn't think that would affect it. Apparently it does. So the reason they want us to use Govormo is because it's got that AP silence. It stops her getting too many AP. I need some, I need some bros. I need more people on the field. Thank you. Oh, no, she's coming for me. Oh, she is coming for me. Increases damage amount by the number of unit boy cards set by one player in the phase. Two plus one per attack. Oh no! <laughs> I did not have to press A to stop that message. I pressed A and I discarded it. the game I wasn't expecting to see streamed. Welcome in General Peaches. Uh, it's not, it's it's hard to stream in it because it's a brutal game. But welcome in. You're joining us on attempt 999 to beat this boss. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Never beat the game myself. At least I'm pretty sure I didn't beat any of the stories. This is why. <laughs> you got to the end of Hero Story once. Yeah, so this is the, the final boss of the arcs side. Uh, we played the arc side first. So we've been through all the arcs missions up until this point. One of the hardest storyline bosses I think I've ever seen in an RPG. Well, I'm not going to argue with that. Um, yeah, so been through the entire arc side, and then honestly, a couple of streams in a row, just bashing our heads against Caster. 
Jeez. So now I stream on the side where, you know, we actually get submissions completed. Oh, no. Dice Frenzy has worn off. So now I, yeah, stream the hunter's side, and then after playing the hunter's side for a while, we just have another go. Full disclosure, we looked up a bit of a guide, and so this is a deck built on that guide. I always got the impression that people weren't fans of this game. So, I should explain myself a little bit here. I'm Mr. Machine Gun, hello. <laughs> I like to play series. There's series, I, I don't think I've ever played a every game in a series so by playing a series we can be retro by starting at the very start of a series like fantasy star um and i get to then showcase the games i love in the series and i get to play the games i never got to play in that series this is a game i never got to play so loved fantasy star 2 fantasy star 4 to death played fantasy star online like nobody's business and then fell off and so yeah so i never played episode two of fantasy star online until on stream and i never played this before until on stream so it's part of the fun you still need to play the original four? Oh, do. Absolutely do. Um, I just want to introduce Susan Pierce. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so the obviously the, the original four are completely different from here. So <laughs> they're turn based console, you know, old school RPGs. I love them a bit. Fantasy Star 1 is completely hard uh, because it's a Master System game. Super old. But yeah, Fantasy Star 2, Fantasy Star 4, and. Fantasy Star, I'm not becoming a PSO2 streamer. <laughs> and I learned to appreciate Fantasy Star 3. I did start the first one, which is kind of rough to play at times. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's do a stab. Oh no, does that do what it can? Okay. No. You just do that. You do stab. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, so Fantasy Star 1, I've, I've played it on the Masters. But, uh, I actually played Fantasy Star Generations 1, which was the PS2 redo of it, which makes things a lot, a lot more balanced, I find it. Fantasy Star Generations 2, which is the PS2, Fantasy Star 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. It's hard as balls. Okay. The playing the first one did make me realise that a couple of the PSO Episode 2 tracks were remixes of Dungeon Thieves the first game, which was cool. Like, yes! That was a great surprise when I jumped into the VR in PSO Episode 2 and was like, hang on. Well, chat probably told me it sounded for me before, <laughs> before I did. Okay, let's try exist. If they survive this attack, they'll get all their ex their HP back. They will not survive this attack. <laughs> oh well, that card was worth a try. I'm not doing too badly. The previous strategy for this was using rappies, lots of rappies. I wish I had like PSO2 NGS, but I'm not a fan, it feels really bad to play. Yeah, I haven't played it much. I, 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 I mean, it's free, so I downloaded it on the PS4. Um, it's working so far, it's still early days. 
I've only got seven HP left. That's the real issue with this strategy. <laughs> Look at that, look at that, HP assist, Apparently it, it does work in this battle. So no reason to use anybody but Cranium in this. Uh, use it for sure. And looking at the two bosses for Hero and Arx, I always felt on the surface like this boss would be easier than the Hero boss. I haven't encountered the Hunter side yet. So I don't know what that boss is like. Yeah, for what, what I played VR for too long has told me, Hunter's side is easier than the Arc side. Yeah, yeah, cool. Mainly because for Arcs you can try to distract box boss or summons while the hero is just one-on-one -on -one fight. Yes, absolutely. That feels more like a traditional boss to have a one-on-one -on -one fight. Yeah, I, I played PSO2 on PC before NGS, and it's a PSO2 original. Events. Okay. Um, PSO2 original is a lot closer to PSO, I feel. Whereas NGS is more like an almost action RPG, jumping and all this other stuff. I only played it for half an hour and I was like, oh, not for me. Also, I don't think the hero boss doesn't have health degen, it has damage that scales up every turn. Oh god. Oh, the damage scaling up every turn. Oh, I don't want to hear about it. And the hero boss is a different kind of timer. Okay. Well, we're not there yet. We're, we're midway through the hunter story, so... It's not to spoil the hunter boss. I don't know anything about the hunter boss yet. This hasn't gone too badly, but the, the movement has been off. She has done for Cranny the whole time. Which, she does, which Caster doesn't always do. Sometimes she sits back. So. Now we've got our Halloween Rappy out. At least we can do that. And that Govulma has been out since the first turn. But because it costs so much to move. Okay. Let's try and get back involved. I think one of the interesting things I learned about episode three is that it takes place chronologically after episode four. Well, I'll tell you what, we're not, uh... We're playing fantasy, we're playing episode four after episode three. <laughs> I don't care what they say. <laughs> Come on. Actually get a hit in. Come on. Yes. Look at that. AP down. 16 HP. Fifteen HP left. This is rarefied air. We're in new territory. Close. <laughs> don't, don't jinx it, you're <laughs> I've got no defense. Ah! Use AB equal to the dice roll times one point five. Oh, there you go. So much for AB's arms. There it is. You jinxed it. <laughs> That's okay. That was good. You know, 15 HP left is great. It was a good attempt. Agreed. That piety card isn't as good as I thought it was, though. So let's swap that out. Just another generic defense card. Now, is that another Dark Bell, right? The main, like the main thing I lack over the guide, the guide says pack two dice plus one. You know how many dice plus one cards I've got? Zero. Absolutely none. Yeah, we'll swap out that one card and we'll give it another go. And then we might call it there. 
Like, Cranu won't work with the Rappi strategy, because the Rappies have one HP anyway. But with bigger monsters like these, where she could potentially heal them... Honestly, I think the thing about the, this game that makes playing through the story in, in this brutal is getting the cards for decks. Worst part. 100% agreed. I am emulating via Dolphin. Uh, one of my viewers, again, VR, sent through disc images that are packed to give you 10 cards as long as you win. You don't need to S rank, you just get 10 cards. Now, even with that, it's still been hard because even with that, it's still been hard because you just get cards for the other side the whole time. And it's like, come on. Okay, let's see. Now, Piety didn't really help. There's Piety. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Should have just hacked it out all the cards by default. I'm not sure if you can. <laughs> I, I honestly had an initial look after the very first stream um, when I when I was told about the different endings for different characters and stuff. It's like, oh my god! So you have to play like to see all the different endings. You would have to kind of play through it. How many times? It's like, no, I've got to just hack it or something to, you know my relationship with each character high enough to get their ending. Doesn't look like it's possible. Uh, but I did find a YouTube video that has all the characters ending, so we'll definitely watch that when we get to the end. The very, very end of the episode 3. Or maybe I'll just link it. I don't know if I just want to watch somebody else's YouTube content on the stream. Might not be the best way to do it. I think there's a guide somewhere that lays out how to see all the special character cuts in released. Yeah. They make that really obvious. And they made that kind of obvious with, you know, hey, there's a mission. Can you send me on that mission? It's like, sure. You got it. We saw a special one for Inalys earlier, where she got tied up by the Ark. So it's like, weird. It's funny though, that was pretty good. They just, they just lean entirely into Pico being a comedy, comedy character. Oh my God, what are you doing? Who is that being applied to? No, not my Halloween Rappi. He's meant to heal me every day. It could be simple enough to just send them on the missions they ask to be sent. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about the character endings. I think that's based on how often you use them all together. Not, uh... Actually, don't. No, let's wrap you first. Yeah, I think so. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Alan Rappi's on the go. No, um, but I think, I think, oh, uh, and this is, okay, actually this is me being completely, a complete guess, could be wrong. That, that would be easier to get with online play, but online play is dead, so here we are. Although online play could be completely different, I'm not sure. Uh, 
I haven't had a chance to even look at the online play because you, you, you click on it and it just goes. Should we just use a dodge on the on the Rappy? All right, come on, Rappy, live, live, little buddy. He did live. Ho oh, ho! He's gonna get that HP back. There it is. Look at that. I'd like to see a health bar go up. Change base. Normal attacks, but hey, we're getting some attacks in defense. Nothing can stop that. <laughs> this is not my rappy emote, but let's put it anyway. Let's do a rah 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 rappy wave for Alan. <laughs> attack <laughs> yeah, absolutely exactly Alan's being all he can be absolutely oh I don't like it when she steps back <laughs> should we try and dodge let's try and dodge why not Just like sucking away our AP by moving though. Real frustrating. But so far, even though we've lost Halloween Rappy early, which means he should go back in the deck. But I'll hope I can't. Um, we're doing okay here. We're unharmed. Okay, so you attack first. You do Goonie Blow. Defense. This attempt is looking promising. It's early days. I'm keeping, keeping a lid on it. Okay, here we go. Damage five. Forced Assault. Ooh, look at that. 31 now. And it's like the Go Vulmans are the main part of this. Don't get too hyped, Jerosi, you're gonna get me hyped up. <laughs> um, <laughs> the Go Vulman with the AP is what this one's all about. How does she? Oh, okay. I did that. Because the AP silence bringing her AP down, it's stopping her doing her massive hit everybody attack as often. Now, Al, you stay in the deck just for, a little, just for a little while longer, buddy. You'll be off the bench before you know it. I didn't move it. Sugar. Okay. Let's do a stab with time. Let's do a normal attack with the normal. I meant to move. To move. Oh, look at that. HP minus five. Slime have two range by default. Oh, that was a waste. Whoops. <laughs> and there's those beat cards. No one's about Tim Allen. <laughs> if I read the card correctly. No, I think you're right. You're right. Actually, I think you're actually right. But one of Caster's attacks. One of her normal attacks, so it even, doesn't even have to save up much for it. Uh, can just hit all in a straight line.
Ah, oh, you're absolutely right, General Peaches. Absolutely. There you go. Let's just have the Govorma attack try and silence that AP. Oh, that was a lot of defensive cards. Three out of five lit up. That's all right. That was a rebuilding turn. Now this, this, this is really new territory, as in, I'm going to end up with, this is probably going to be the first time, ah, oh, there's no defensive cards. Goodbye everyone. So yeah, so she gets a five because of Dice Fever. What are we left with? We're left with nothing. Oh wow. Oh no, the Go Vorma's still there. See, I jinxed it. <laughs> Very easy to jinx. <laughs> Got to just keep up the pressure. Events. <laughs> Hi to Kennedy, that is an awesome emote. That is an... These are some awesome animated emotes happening here. So we've got no defensive cards. Let's do that. See if we can't get a defense card in. There's a lot of good ones. Oh, agreed. Oh, there goes his ice fever again. See, this is where the Dice Plus one would come in handy as well. When she uses the Dice Fever, we would be getting sevens every turn if we had two Dice Plus one applied. Dice Plus one doesn't last forever, of course. But yeah. But we're in five and five for a while. Let's go, Alan. He's our man. If he can't rappy, no one can. Go, Alan. Oh, defensive cards. Oh, it's only reduction. We might still get a hit. That should go to five. Yeah. Okay. Castor has 16. Castor has 15. Castor has 15. We have 16. We have more. Brainy has more HP. Events. Oh, do we, do we blow a card on the rapid? Do it. Oh, come on, Al. Look at Barney, how are you going? I saw you were streaming earlier, just before I started. So. Sorry for not jumping in. Let's just use the stamina card, give everybody heaps of movement. Uh, oh, can we hit her? Not at the moment. Somebody's got to move, there we go. Now, people who stream, tell me if I'm wrong here, but the way I understand it is you get more remote slots if you've got more followers. Change. Just finished streaming Dordogne. Dordogne? Such a beautiful game. Have I cried at the end? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Oh, big tears, big tears then. More subs is more remote subs. Oh, okay. Oh no, my boys. 
Oh, she's coming. Nice. Emotes are from sub points, but you can get follower emotes up to 60 streams, post affiliate without a TOS. Right. Should be a counter, I think, in your account when you get new slot switch number. Ah, oh, okay. There's a big lad, yes. So the big lad is also from the guide. The big lad does. Where's the big lad? Does guard demolisher. Yes. All right. This is all going so well, but now she's hunting us down. Hey, hey. Nice. Of course, the big bell rope is going to struggle to move. Is it still five and five? Give me five and five. Yes. Our Rappy on defense. Now, is my stamina card still working? What? It doesn't work on Dark Bell Rope. Get out of here. It's all up to you, Al. Keep on burning through those defensive cards. Mr. Valor. <laughs> Give it the beak. <laughs> Could we see single digits? I haven't seen single digits on it in a long time. What really positively surprised me is that Bordogne, which is set in South France, Defense. is also dubbed in Occitan, the original language for that region. Oh, that's nice. There you go. Okay, this is going to hit. There's nothing I can do about that. Holy shit. Holy shit. That, oh, that's just killed it. That's killed this boss fight. Change. Nice. Set. This is brutal, exactly. That's what this battle does to you. I don't think, I don't think Dark Bell is going to help me. I think Dark Bell Row, 11, yes. I don't think, I think Dark Bell Row is a nice plus one defense. What the f did you see? Oh, She did not teleport. She moved so many tiles that they just stopped playing. They just stopped playing the movement animation. And then she was next to me because she could just walk anywhere. Touch up there. Yeah, Dark Barrow seems a bit too point expensive without getting Dark Plus One. Agreed. Might get him out. It is working though. That was two very good attempts. Yes, I need. I need. More go Volmers. Barbel. What can you do, Barbel? Native AP count. During battle AP, this card simply changes to one plus half the number of all native. That's all good. Oh god, look at that. Lose three HP? No thanks. You lose enough as this. That was two very good attempts, but what if it was three very good attempts? What if we did one more? This is where playing on stream differs from playing casually. Because I'm not kidding. Well, actually, if I was playing casually, I might have given up on this game. But if I was playing casually, you know what I would have been doing the entire time once I got to this boss? I would have just kept 
playing this boss over and over and over and over and over again until I beat it or until I quit playing the game and play something else. But because I don't want you guys just to watch me doing that over and over and over and over again, we've mixed it up, which has helped. It definitely helps that you get cards for the other side playing the other story so we can build towards it. Okay, let's go to the guide. Does anybody else have... So we're going to get rid of Dark Belra. You get more cards via free battle as well? Uh, yes. I have done some grinding for cards via free battle. Um, so he's got AP silence. Okay. He's too expensive. Though. Um, sorry, get back to what I was These guys are all group ones, fixed range. Yeah, so I, I did some of the free battle stuff, uh, but it's kind of boring. I did it off stream uh, just to help out. So, yeah. I think that Dark Bell is a creature you don't want to use if you have to move it. It's like a very subtle video kind of Yeah, my, my main, my dudes are uh, Hilda Bears. They're the ones I've used the most. But yeah, you need to be able to, if you need to move them, you're, you're stuffed. Okay, so we took out two Dark Bearers. Uh, exist. Eh, it's okay. Let's just put in two more slimes. I think there's a way to go. Then at least we can keep the damage going. Right. Okay. Yeah, two AP to move one square is insane. Absolutely agree. Uh, exist. exist if you use it on if it's a defensive card if you use it on one of your creatures and it survives the round like it gets hit for three hp out of five then it then has full hp so it's good for those really high ap creatures you have yeah, it is really nice but it's you know i've only got one of them so it's a one time one time deal we're going to give it one more go. The germ, etc., etc. Ah, oh, interesting. That actually is interesting. I just realized we're not getting Indu's cutscene because we're playing as Cranu. So I hope that doesn't mean we're missing out on a cutscene. If we do win. Potentially we are. We shall see. Anyway, last attempt for the evening. <laughs> exactly, we'll always look up the cutscene. What are we up? We've got Flatland. Oh my god, this is a bad hand. Yes, please change. We need creatures. We need creatures to distract her from killing us. One creature versus none. Where's Alamina exactly? Could have put more Allens in. That was, a, that was an option. Yes, glad I didn't use stab yet. You know you got to get through those defensive cards first. Oh, I need more creatures. Need more than one. <laughs> Okay, let's 
on God, at least. He's going to hit it early. Ooh, that's a big oof. And this is where, this is the, the I'm not promising. This is the opposite of a promising start. Um, one monster only, one creature only. Done no damage so far. She's free to move. Like she can just come right up to us if she wants to. We're not. We haven't got to go Vorma out, so we're not affecting her AP. She's just used dice fever. This could be trouble. Events. Promising at all. Now I got nothing. Bosses really are no joke. Yes, absolutely. There's a go, Vorma. Depending on what she does this turn, we might be able to maybe able to pull this out. Let's see what she does. Yep, she's just going for the aim. Oh, Jasmine, <laughs> balance in the bottom. Yes, there was a lot of balance. Errors made with this game, 100%. Five five, come on, five five, thank you. There we go. Let's see how she feels about that. So I use that Flatland card. That Flatland card allows me to deploy anywhere on the field for a set number of turns. So that is where they potentially were thinking about with the Dark Belra as well. You know, use the Flatland card. Did they say that or did I just pick that one? Actually, I'll just pick that one. Never mind. Amber. That was like the quickest one. Okay, that was really fast. Let's just try it again. One more try. Yeah, if I let it seems like a bus have I, I, absolutely. That's why I... So do you still play PS4, PS4 at all these days? Or is that only because you're playing for the PS4? I am playing PSO episode 4 to grind up a character for when we play, when we stream, here's episode four. That's about it, unfortunately. It's good. It is nice when I have spare time that I just sit down and grind out fancy star online levels like I used to. Takes me back. Takes me back to the early 2000s. <laughs> no, no, no. I still, lo still love Fancy Star. I want to, I want to somehow get my kids to pay enough attention one day to like play Fancy Star two on the big screen and just read the text to them and see what they think. Try and get them into RPGs. Or 
maybe just, or maybe PS4 is just that it's got the better cutscene graphics and more of them. Oh, on the plus side, we don't have to skip the. You're playing PSO, yes. <laughs> so, are you playing on PC? I'm guessing. And if so, what server? I think. I think I'm on Destiny. For, oh, I've forgotten now. <laughs> Episode four. Epi ah, Ephania. Okay, cool. Yes, heard that one as well. I did episode two on Ultima. So I did, I did Fair Star Online episode one on Dreamcast. I emulated it on Dreamcast because I played it on Dreamcast. That's how I remember it. I love it. And then episode two was on Ultima Star. Nice. Uh, it was PSO V2 or V1. It was whichever one came out after, like the later one. Yeah. I actually had on the Dreamcast, because I was an early, I, I bought a Dreamcast launch. I had, I bought the, the original Fantasy Star Online and then me and a couple of other people who chatted in an online chat room called Paseo's Tavern and we, I at least chatted in there on my Dreamcast with the keyboard uh, then we found out that version 2 was coming out so we all ordered it from Japan together and so yeah, we went over to Dude's house we picked up a box it was great you got to play online using dot yes they did it wasn't too bad for you know phone line gaming <laughs> It really, I don't remember it being too laggy, especially since, and this is one of the things that pissed me off immensely about someone using the phone to get booted. Ah, see, I was old. No, I wasn't old. I was 18 at the job. So I just paid, I just bought a splitter and I ran a phone line to my room so I didn't have to worry about the, the phone being used. Um, Yeah, what, what, like the Japanese Dreamcast had a 33.3k modem, the American Dreamcast had a 56k, and then the Australian one, which came out after both of those, had a 33. And it was like, and then I've, I've told this story before, but there were stickers on the Dreamcast games like Quake 3. Saying online, you know, online interactivity Defense. not guaranteed in Australia or something. It's like, oh. so it's like I bought. Part of the reason I bought this console was because it was online, and then it's like, oh, doesn't work in your country. Fuck shit. Couldn't do much about it. We need to immigrate. We need to move to another country that has better Dreamcast support. So I'm always gonna love my Dreamcast. It's back there. It's right. It's right behind me. Yeah. A, a more gaming-ready PC might have been a better investment at the time. I would have ended up playing way more Quake. The main difference between PSO version 1 and 2 was that version 2 had ultimate difficulty. Yes, that was the main one. I think it did just, I think it just had some fixes as well. Just some bug fixes. I mean, there may have been more stuff in v V2 as well. It's been a long time. I can't quite remember. Probably true. Yeah, so it was, you know, we weren't, while on PC you were getting and stuff and expansion packs 
it's just a console with that, so you just had to buy a whole new disc. Yeah, so they, they never actually had you pay for the, the online in Australia. In Australia, it was free the whole time, so that was good. I didn't need to justify another bill. <laughs> Get up there, slime. Yes. Look at that. Even went off the field just to be a smart ass. <laughs> you were playing PSO whenever I wasn't even in elementary school. Yes. Give me more creatures. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. All about the consoles that you can get at your age. Sometimes I wish I was a bit older because you know you read about the all the new to allow like 50 and talking about their Commodore 64s and all that sort of stuff. And turning that into a career when you know you can still, you can still be a career. Um, and then sometimes I, I, I envy the kids now who, you know, their console, their first console might be a PS5. And it's like, whoa. There you go. Oh, I was Mega Drive. We had a Commodore 64 before that. These used to teleport across the fucking game. <laughs> this is what drives me crazy. This is a bad part of the whole setup. Trapped. And PSA came out to another year before you got a Mega Drive. There you go. So, and, and that's the other thing. And it's always been a thing in gaming, in music, in movies. Like, just because you were born whenever, or just because you bought this band's latest album you can go back it's okay but the retro market is making it harder with games in general but you know it's like you know about this movie that movie came out before you were born it's like so what it's on vhs it's on dvd it's on laserdisc it's on streaming you can go back you can find things it's okay you can enjoy old things it doesn't have to be from your time Time for the boy. Love growing up when I did because I experienced the future of my lifetime and old shit. Exactly. There you go. Ow, you remember the stab. Slime, you remember the attack. We have all we remember the attack. Look at this. Three attacks this turn. Alan. My boy. <laughs> Sometimes I think older things have more charm than things made in modern times. You come to the right place. <laughs> I'm 40 years old and I've got lots of charm. Oh, 
oh, this is coming together all of a sudden. Art is human expression, and human expression is always and has always been special. Oh, absolutely. We've got us surrounded. We're not going to be, Al's not going to be able to do much of much longer, here, but he's in, he's in the hand now. Defense. And we're about to have Halloween Rappy on the field. Ah, oh, she's doing the big attack though. Ah, oh, go Vorma, no! Okay, how are we going to do this? I want to keep her trapped. Oh, we're going to get fives. Okay. Little buddy over here. Mm -hmm. So the whole idea of the slime is that it doesn't cost anything to move. It must just be the red one. HP. This is gonna could be a big turnaround, we'll have to see. Yes. See what happens. Don't think you'll survive. Oh, look at that. HP is just all around. People have standards on what they grow up with. The problem is they don't re-examine their standards and shut themselves up into it. Ah, oh, shut themselves into their bubble, yeah. Okay. What do we want to do? Let's do... Beat. Let's do Uni Blow. Defense. Ah, oh, the cards are coming out. The cards are coming out. It's a reduced card though, so we're going to get some damage in. That's 15 to go. It's not games anymore, yeah. Single figures. Oh no. If I beat Caster, then I'm going to have to follow through on my idea to do a supercut YouTube video about how much of a pain in the ass she is to beat. <laughs> and part of what I was going to do with that was have a counter in the corner to count through how many times she fucking kills me. Oh no, did she kill Halloween Rappy? No, everybody but Halloween Rappy. You'll watch it. <laughs> I just think modern games feel more soulless, at least the ones made by large AAA companies like EA. Yeah, no, that's absolutely true. There's been some corporatization. Just profit chasing that, all that fun stuff. But there were also, you know, remember the days of movie cash-ins? Every, every movie needed a video game and it was usually really bad. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I was listening to uh, Get Play the other day. Uh, what's she going to do? Um, and they were talking about Summer Games Fest. And they were just talking about how many games were just Souls-likes. And like they're actually using in trailers now that this is a Souls-like. And it's like... I don't know about Soulless, but I think they do need to have the, some new ideas needed. It would be good. I like Souls likes. I like Souls games, but a lot of trend chasing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like Souls Likes, but I'm, I'm never going to have time to play all of these Souls Likes that come out. Yeah, it's a bit like with music. It's getting worse and worse with mainstream music, getting more and more of a business, getting more and more souls. There is, in volume, far more independent and smaller bands than artists get your teeth into. Yeah, because the internet lets you find all these too. You can spend your whole life not get your play mainstream. Yeah. No, exactly. So indie games, indie music, punk, punk music, you know. You have to do the, have to do the leg work a bit, but yeah, it's out there. Damn it. Do we get Spiegel out? Do we get him out to see if we can just stick him straight in front of us? Does this be fives again? Is Dice Fever still on? Dice Fever is off. Dice Fever is over. Doesn't cost anything to move the slime. Awesome. Oh, there's a Go Vorma as well. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of... Nice five percent, maybe more of games play indie retro. And the other good thing is, and like, I'm speaking of paying to play online. I've had PS Plus forever now, like ages and ages and ages. Yes. What you do is you buy twelve months when it's on a deep discount. And go from there. <laughs> but they give you so many free indie games, and so you just play with those with just your PS Plus or Game Pass. Game Pass is that. Last seven games you play with five in and two retro. I can't get the Govorma out. Okay. If I looked at the last, I, I bought some of the silver box Dungeons and Dragons games yesterday. Just yesterday. So. Started three of them up, so my, the last three out of the last five. Man. Look at that HP eight. Come on, come on. No defense cards. Hype HP to go. Get hyped. Chaz is on the edge of his seat. <laughs> Come on, Al. Dodge. Dodge, Al. Oh, Al did not dodge. <laughs> Change. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Before us. <laughs> They're just like, they want Alan. They want Alan to get the killing blow. Mm. All right, I'm doing my attacks. I keep Alan down, that's right. Chose not to use a defensive card there. Chose not to use a defensive card there. It's over! Freaky, you fuck you! It's over! <laughs> it's over! Alan! 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 Uh, Lynn. Oh, General Peaches, thank you for the... Oh, you're rosy, thank you for the gift subs. Oh my god. General Peaches, Dick of Barney, there you go. <laughs> have a bite. I will. Like, it's nearly midnight here. I'm going to have to find a bar that's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. One more go to it. There we go. 
Get those emotes into you, Nicky. Look at that. You can't. Grass is something. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, got that already. Come on, give me unique cards or something. Inflation. Don't talk about that. This is when you pull dice plus one. Is it? No, it's not. <laughs> oh, okay. Zoom in. Zoom in on the zoom in on the cards. Grass assassin. Kicking some ass. Which pack is dice plus one even in? I don't know. <laughs> I should probably look that up. It would have been amazing. That would have been a real kappa. Real kappa to it. Do we get cutscenes? We get, oh, we get prisoners. <laughs> it saved. It already saved. You saw it save. I will honestly let people know how many attempts that was once I've counted them up. I'm going to count them up. The recently incarcerated Eugene. <laughs> and depending on how much influence he had on this game, maybe he rotten that cell. I don't really have any dancing happy emotes of my own, so I'll just have a little spare mode of that. So you go, get hyped. <laughs> ah, thank you for the follow, General Peaches. Good, good to go with this. <laughs> Do you know what this means? Do you know what this means? I promised at least a month ago. I said, when we beat the arc side, I need a break for episode three. So, now that we've beaten that side, we're going to do next week, next Wednesday, same bat time, same bat channel. We're going to do some viewer redeems. Speaking of people who are here. So next week, once my list loads up, Yeah, next week, let's do, you need a break, otherwise you're a... <laughs> so next Wednesday, rather than PS episode three, we're gonna play Mayhem in Monsterland as redeemed by Nikobane. And then a bit of Cosmic Spacehead as redeemed by Yorozi. We'll do a couple of hours of each. As the fantasy suffering online is over for now. <laughs> Wednesday. This, this day, whatever day it is in, in your part of the world, right now, this one. In the fantasy star slot, we'll do the redeems. I'm guessing, Nikobani, it's Tuesday night for you? Or early Wednesday morning right now? I think. It is just about to go midnight in my part of the world on Wednesday. Cosmic Spacehead may not provide you much sleep. I don't care. <laughs> it's not this. <laughs> oh, it's Wednesday, 4 p.m. Okay. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you. The art's good. Ooh, are these weapons getting infected by the germ? Is that what's going on? Ooh, there might be lore in the credits. <laughs> well, it's very kind of you think about it. They're like, you can, you, you can stream. It's your stream. You do what you have to do. <laughs> you see that degradation from exposure just rusting away? We just beat the germ. So if it does turn out there's an Endu cutscene. Uh. Oh, 
Get out of their mouse. <laughs> no, I wish for the game. I want to make sure I can watch. Absolutely. Looks like I'll have to I'll look it up. Yes. It's one story completed. Yes. Yeah. Fuck, that reminds me of Cinemaker make a Super Famicom for my list ready for another stream. Can't think about it. You're too busy. You're too much on. So, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm going to take a stream somewhere. Did I update my ending? No, it did not. Whoops. I forgot to do that before. Oh. Sometimes I just update stuff live. We uh, missed a Peace Walker stream on the weekend, so we're gonna, we'll make it one tomorrow. Yes, Alan, MVP, MVP. Let's quiet you down. The game has definitely been saved. <laughs> Bit of fancy stuff, or yes, let's do a raid somewhere. I actually want to win in a bit of Okay, who's on? Let's have a look. Let's go to MR. Let's go to MR. Let's do that. They're playing Castlevania 4. I'm trying to get this. Since we're talking retro, since we're talking all that stuff, let's get into it. So, thank you so much for the subs, Jerome. Thank you for follow general features. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow night. And I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are.